incredibly beautiful, something where you're looking at it, you're like, I can't believe I'm looking at this out in the wild. I feel like I'm at a zoo. Toucans are iconic birds. With their oversized bills, bright coloration, and charismatic personality, it's easy to see why they are so captivating. Today I'm in northern Costa Rica at the Makenke Eco Lodge, looking to see what species of toucan I can find. This is my second morning birding at the Eco Lodge, and the first one did not disappoint. However, today I'm specifically focusing on the toucans. I got up early and waited to see what would show up at the feeders, where fresh fruit is put out daily. Good morning everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Burning. This is our second full day here in Costa Rica. Um, spent like basically the whole day burning yesterday. I'm up again early in the morning to watch the feeders. And so they put out a bunch of fresh fruit. I'm here before they're even putting the fruit out just to see what we get as kind of the sun comes up. But I decided that today at the feeders it's gonna be all about the toucans. So we're gonna be looking for some of the species you can find here at the feeders, they're very charismatic. Um, how can, not, can you not love toucans? So there's three specific ones that I think we'll be able to see today. Um, so hopefully they come in and give us some good looks. I already saw um, a tiger heron was hunting. There's been the Passerini's tanager has been here. And then the uh, black-cheeked woodpeckers are also here early in the morning. Once the fruit arrived, colorful species started pouring in to partake in the feast, including one of our target toucan species, the collared aracari. The collared aracari, which can also be pronounced arasari, is a small toucan of tropical lowlands. They can be identified by their black head and chest, yellow stomach with black, red, and orange markings, and serrated pattern pale top of the bill. Collared arcaries are omnivorous and will feed on fruits, fledgling birds, insects, eggs, and more. They normally live in small flocks of 6 to 15 birds, sleeping in cavities at night. Arcaries came in, so that's our first toucan species of the day. They are incredibly beautiful, something where you're looking at it, you're like, I can't believe I'm looking at this out in the wild, I feel like I'm at a zoo. While waiting for the other toucans, the assortment of other species put on a great show. <laughs> Eventually, an unmistakable large toucan came into the feeders, the yellow-throated toucan. The yellow-throated toucan is a large bird with a distinctive bicolored bill. They are black with a yellow throat and are often found in pairs or small groups. Yellow-throated toucans are normally found in forested areas and feed on fruits and small animals. Sometimes they will pick up food with their large bill and flick it back into their mouth. Their bill is extremely light in weight for its size and is formed of thin bony rods filled with a form of keratin. These large bills are useful in helping to regulate temperature, reach fruit, intimidate other birds, and defense with other toucans during territorial disputes. There are currently three recognized subspecies of yellow-throated toucans, with some still classifying the chestnut mandible as a separate species. Toucans are generally thought of as poor flyers, and they will often hop from branch to branch instead of flying. We just had the yellow-throated toucan come in. What an incredible species. Huge bill. Um, will slowly kind of move their heads as they're looking around. A um, little bit picky about what food they eat. Just a, a really amazing bird to see here. Um, there's also a bunch of orange-chinned parakeets right here. Feeding. They're incredible as well. After watching the feeders all morning, the final species I expected to see there, the keel-billed toucan, never showed up. However, as I watched some of the trails, one made a quick appearance in the trees above. While we were walking, we did have a keel-billed toucan. There he is. Oh, it was so brief. The keel-billed toucan, which is also called the sulfur-billed toucan or rainbow-billed toucan, can be found in tropical and subtropical rainforests in Central America and Northern South America. They can be identified by their black body plumage, yellow throat, red and white by the tail, red by the throat, 
green color around the eye, and multicolored bill. Keelbilled toucans sleep in hollow tree cavities, and there can sometimes be groups of about five to six birds sleeping in the same area. Toucans sleep in an interesting way, with their bill resting on their back and their tail flipped up over their bill. Nesting also occurs in tree cavities. Keelbilled toucans feed on fruits, seeds, invertebrates, and small vertebrates. Their seemingly shy nature quickly made them intriguing to me, as most views we got were very brief. Later, in the highlands of Costa Rica, our guide Jose from the Costa Rican Nature Agency and I got a tip on a special species, the Northern Emerald Toucanet. All right, there we go, now I see it. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We were able to locate this emerald toucanet that was reported earlier. Uh, it just kind of plopped itself in one spot. It's hanging out, looking around, looks pretty chill. What do you think, Jose? It's pretty amazing. His guide, uh, he really worth it. It's a beautiful toucan. This is the smallest toucan in the country. And the only one that lives up here in the highland. So it's really worth it to wake up early and then come and see this guy. The Northern Emerald Toucanet is a small toucan that is normally found from Mexico to eastern Panama. They are about one foot in length with a green body, black and yellow bill, chestnut color under their tail, and a variable colored throat. There are eight subspecies that show different colors on their throat and different patterns on their bill. Northern Emerald Toucanets are normally found in the forest canopy of foothills in small flocks of up to 10 birds, feeding on fruits, vertebrates, plants, and more. They have the most northern range of members of the toucan family and were recently split from just emerald toucanet to the northern and southern species, now being recognized as different. They're cavity nesters and roosters, but will nest in different cavities than where they roost. This particular individual seemed happy to stay in one location, just looking around, not moving at all. Toucans are iconic birds. It was incredible to see multiple different species while in Costa Rica, and to be able to enjoy their colors, antics, and calls. I look forward to seeing more toucans in the future and learning more about their unique qualities. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.